Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to show you how can you use online platform for flood routing. In this section, uh, I just focus on uh, masking on method. In order to uh, flood route in online platform, you just uh, search this website on the internet. Uh, you know, this uh, website belongs to Professor uh, Miguel Ponce and you just need to click on online cal uh, on the uh, top section of the site and scroll down and go to the hydrologic section and you can find a routing section for different methods in this uh, video i was i was uh, i just you know, want to focus on masking gum method okay click on masking gum and you can find this website with this information. As you know, uh, masking gum is one of the best and simple method for flood routing, especially in natural rivers. And also in the top section of this uh, window, you can find more about the formula, which, is, which are used for flood routing. And also if you click on this link, you can find more information about this method. As you know, uh, the masking gum method is based on differential equation of storage. Uh, I mean, it, it equals uh, input uh, minus output equals delta S per delta T. And uh, it assumes that the storage is a function of input, output, and the variables of K and X. You know, uh, K and X must be calibrated for a uh, for a, uh, a specific reach and i indicates the hydrograph uh, input input hydrograph components and o indicates the output hydrograph and after combination in uh, this formula you can uh, find the final formula for uh, fallout routing based on masking gum method you know for using this method you sh should calculate three different uh, variables, I mean C0, C1, and C2, and all of them are function of delta T, K, X, and justice. Okay, uh, uh, you know, uh, K and X, uh, uh, as I've mentioned, are the masking gun parameters and must be calibrated based on observed data set. However, uh, if you are in a, um, data limited or data scarce uh, regions, you must uh, find uh, appropriate methods to estimate or reasonable estimation of these variables. For example, uh, you know, uh, the X uh, parameter varies from uh, 0.01 to 0 0.5. And, you know, for natural rivers, you can assume uh, these variables equals to 0.3. And also for estimation of uh, K a parameter, you can use the uniform uh, flow, uh, 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 uniform flow, which indicates that the speed equals uh, length uh, divided per time. Uh, okay, L is the river length, and you can easily calculate it based on uh, Google Earth or digital elevation models, and also T uh, equals. K and you can use instead of T, you can use K parameter and also V is the flood speed. You know, uh, uh, for the most uh, flood uh, in the world, the average flood speed varies between uh, 1.5 and 2.5 and you can assume that the average value equals to 2 meter and so uh, you can uh, divide the river lengths, divide to 2 meter, and you can uh, find the k variable. Okay, let me to replace this parameter or change the location of these variables. Sorry, okay. By using this uh, formula, this simple formula, you can uh, obtain a reasonable uh, value for k parameter. Okay, let's come back to the uh, Ponce website. And for uh, for routing flood using this website, first of all, you should enter the time step of your 
input hydrograph. Uh, uh, here, let's assume that we have a flat hydrograph with the time step of one hour. However, if you have other time step, you can use different uh, time intervals. And also, for a storage constant, k, the unit is uh, over. And as I've mentioned, you can use this simple formula for estimation of k for data limited or ungauged catchments. However, if you have observed data set, you can easily calibrate this uh, parameter by trial and error methods. Okay, for example, let's assume that, uh, let me, for example, if L is equal 20,000 meter, Okay, and the V equals 2 meter. And finally, the K value is about L divided to this number. Okay, uh, this unit is a second and you need to divide it to um, 3600 in order to convert it to other. In other words, uh, these variables or these parameters lead to k equals 2.77 hour. Okay, you can enter this value here to 78. And also uh, for the k, for the x value, uh, as I mentioned, you can use uh, this value for uh, most natural rivers. Also, I want to enter uh, inflow hydrograph with uh, 16 ordinates and also let me select and this is my input hydrograph and you should enter manually these numbers and uh, set a column uh, uh, column to divide numbers from each other okay after entering these parameters you need to click on the calculate button and after a while the table is appear and all calculation automatically calculated for your case study. Okay, let me copy all of these parameters and go to the Excel and paste them. Okay, let me click the first column, inflow and the output. And this is the rotate uh, flood hydrograph. This is the inflow and this is the outflow hydrograph. If you have uh, the uh, observed flow hydrograph at the catchment outlet, you can easily calibrate the X and K parameter for your case study. But uh, it should be noted again that for ungauged catchment, you can use this simple formula or concepts for your case study. Okay, I hope this uh, video is useful for, uh, for yourself and for you. And if you have any question about the procedure of uh, masking on method or other things, just contact me. Uh, have a good time. Bye-bye.